All right, so we are on a secret mission today, and we are headed to Park City, Utah. I'm not gonna give it away, but it might involve a kitty. I won't tell you what kind of cat. You'll see when we get there. So we've got a full crew. We've got the boss with us. We got Brayden in the back. We got Lincoln asleep in the middle, and the baby boss right there bossing us all around. Can you say hi? We're headed to Heber City, Utah first to pick up our friend Case Barker. He's gonna ride with us to go up to Park City. So we're gonna stop at his house first. We've actually got a car on the truck that we're towing to Heber City to drop off. It's a collision job that we're returning to a customer. So we'll do that, pick up Case, head to Park City and show you guys what we got. All right, so we made it to Case's house and we got the go-kart that we're gonna get unloaded and get to Park City. Hello, Case. Howdy. Lincoln, this is my seat. My seat. You want me to drive? Yeah. I figured out. He's like, uh. All right, go to your seat, bud. All right, so we're just about to where we're gonna meet the owner of the thing we're going to get. And they're gonna haul us to the top of this mountain because I don't think the tow truck's gonna make it. So we got Case being a cameraman right now so that we're safe. We'll get there, get to the top of the mountain and bring our find back down. You ever been in a snow cap, Braden? No. You're not supposed to tell me So we came up to Stagecoach Estates. And we're gonna buy the snow cap from Patrick, so we appreciate it. We're gonna get this thing off the mountain and go see what we need to do to get it recovery ready. Awesome, well, we appreciate it. It's, it's beautifully ugly. <laughs> you ready? Ready as all can be. You guys ready? <laughs> Let's do this, I've never driven a snow cap before. <laughs> well, at least it turns. I can have so much fun in this thing. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. I'm gonna hit her into high gear. I wonder if we got to stop for high. Uh, I would imagine, but you probably want low going down your hills. He said put it in high. Did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let's, let's give her the onion. Oh. We're learning. We're gonna need a return spring on that. She's a little. Oh peppy. yeah. She's a little peppy. She's Okay, I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna give her some juice. Brakes work, so that's good. That thing's not too thrilled. Room for 20 more. Saddle up, we're going to Aspen. We need air shot or air seat. What, you don't like the hinge seat that I'm sitting on when you get the brakes no. and rocks forward? Oh, oh, I didn't see your hinge. <laughs> You're in the hinge special. Oh, man. I'm over here just enjoying myself. Case is about eating himself some windshield. <laughs> The speed limit clearly states 20. Let me get her. I think we're going to need to get us a speedometer so we don't break any laws here. It sounds a little clankety clanky. Oh, turns like a kit. It does run decent. Hillbilly's going to have so much fun figuring this all out. Top lights, defrosters. We built that defroster blowing. Wiper switch. Wipers don't work. Okay, well, we, got, we have some work to do. But you know what? We got a snow cat. All right, since we left Lincoln back at the tow truck, we had to let him get in the snow cat for the first time. Lincoln, you like it? Uh, he doesn't seem as impressed as we are. But we got good news. This thing is idling by itself without the choke on. Patrick told us that it wouldn't run without the choke being all the way on. So we ran it down the mountain with the choke on. We've got it off and it's running. This is gonna be no match to Hillbilly's tune-up skills. So he'll have this sucker tuned up by the weekend. Do you love it? Look how ugly it is. It has so much potential. Look, Lincoln's happy. Yeah, it does need paint. It needs a paint job. That means I can paint it. Needs a couple winches, needs painted, needs some tender love and care. Other than that, it's cute. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have Case drive it on and I'm gonna guide him up. Certified forklift operator. Certified forklift operator here. <laughs> Ever driven a snow cat? Absolutely not. Perfect, he's the man for the job.
to get it strapped down and get out of here. This thing is awesome. You can fit about 25 people in that thing. So much room for activities. A lot of tinkering we can do on it. What do you guys think we should do? I, I think we should for sure paint it. Should we put some light bars on front? Definitely needs a winch up front, a winch in the back. Let us know in the comments. Get this thing trail ready to pull people out of the snow. Anyway, super cold. We're gonna get off this mountain and we're hungry. So as always, we're getting a victory snack. Let's go get some food and get back to the shop. We got back last night, it was super dark. I didn't want to film last night, so it is another day. I didn't do my flippy thingy, but I couldn't even sleep because I'm so excited for it. So what we're gonna do today is we were gonna work on the Bronx Star, but we don't have any parts. So we'll show you the Bronx Star a little bit later, but we're gonna go set us a baseline of the snow cap. In order to do the baseline on it, we gotta pull somebody out. So, called my buddy Owen with the blazer. He's gonna be our guinea pig for the day. And he's gonna go up in the mountains and he's gonna get as stuck as he can and we're just gonna pull him out, let him get stuck, pull him out. We're just gonna go have fun. Should we go get some sleds? Okay, well, let's get in the tow truck and get out of here before somebody else stops us. So, uh, what'd you have to do to start it? Um, <laughs> sounds just like that. Yeah. The owner just put a battery in it and it started right up. Purrs like a kitten, literally. The old 300 straight six industrial. I I will give it to Ford. Yeah. It's looking a little gloomy today. We've got a lot of fog on the mountain, so this should be fun. Does the gas gauge work? I don't know. Should we fill it up? Should we live dangerously? Snowcat has a 40 gallon gas tank on board. It took like an hour to fill it up though. We gotta stop at Ace Hardware because we might need some sleds. All right, dinner, you're going sleigh riding today. Do you wanna go snow, uh, snowboarding behind it or ski, uh, sledding behind it? I don't wanna fall in the snow. I'm gonna lay in a sled. <laughs> All right, so we stopped at Ace Hardware, got us some kid sleds. If we find a good sledding hill, then we're gonna hit it. So we're headed up to meet Owen. He's gonna be the one that needs rescued because he's, because he's, gonna get stuck i mean he is gonna get stuck but it's intentional yes this video is a training purposes only video some may say it's staged but this is real really staged so my muck boots have been missing for like ever since the last recovery i asked hillbilly where they were he didn't know i even asked owen to check in his mom's bronco i checked i checked no they're not in my mom's bronco we don't know where they're at. <laughs> we got the blade here next to us. We're gonna head up here from Canyon. We're gonna be able to see what the Snowcat's capabilities are. And don't forget, we gotta name this thing. We need your help. Drop your comment. Let us know what you think we should name it. We're most definitely gonna have to paint it blue. It may not be this season, but definitely gonna be blue. We can name it the Caterpillar. Cause it crawls. Abbreviation was cat. So you can call it the cat or caterpillar. Track star. The track star, well, that day is a good one, but it's too close to the Bronx star. Yeah, they can't name it the kitty because it's way too old to be a kitty. Yeah, it's like the grandpa cat. It's the old mangy cat. Meow, meow. Yeah, so mangy. We found snow! <laughs> Finally, at the top of the mountain. It is so foggy up here, holy cow. <laughs> That's called auto unload. Snowcat can go in a ditch and get itself back out. So super exciting so far. I'll get my muck boots on. We'll get the we'll get all the goods loaded up. Owen's super jealous that he doesn't get a ride with us. Honestly, I am. You know what? The blazer's pretty cool. So why don't we just go get that thing stuck? We'll go play, then we'll get you unstuck. That There's so much room for activities. Look at this! I didn't realize they were this way, but I thought you yeah, had I told a school you. bus style. Room oh. for 12! <laughs> Can't have this flopping. Mm -hmm hit me in the head, bugging me. So we're taking a part that holds the hydraulic filler lid on. And, fixing it and it's gonna be a uh, roof holder upper. So I'll probably just follow you guys up then. <laughs> no, you won't. You're the one getting stuck. We're the rescuers. So we'll follow you. We'll go until I get stuck. Yeah. Dinner, you ready? Let's go. 
steering power felt the pop and the sweet gal only turns one way now so change of plans we might just go sledding instead we'll saddle up partner so in true my luck fashion I was trying to tell Owen that we lost our brake and he got himself stuck as staged as this is he was gonna not get stuck and now we have to try to pull him out and this thing won't turn so we might have to do like 360s to get lined up all I gotta say is, if we're here, we're gonna play. Hillbilly, come push me. Teddy. Whoa, snowcat, snowcat. Ah! <laughs> now it's your turn. You got me all cold. You get on. You got me all cold. It's already all wet. I would hate to be his kids going sledding. Go push him. Okay, we need to get serious here. Owen's stuck and he needs our help. So we just showed up to save the day. Owen went out on a little adventure, got himself stuck. Luckily, we got something that'll pull him out. Huh, Hillbilly? As <laughs> long as nothing breaks. If we only lose one break, that's fine. At Hopefully least, it's all Hey, at least our wives aren't with us. <laughs> okay, since this is a training exercise. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get our recovery rope out. We're gonna hook this thing up and we're gonna get it ripped out of the snow. All right, are we ready? Tell me when it's go time, hillbilly. Forward! Tell me how. Training session recovery was a success. Hey, we bent it back where it needs to be. Yeah, I don't know why. Say that again. 
We bent his bumper back where it needs to be to get the uh, soft shackles in and out a lot easier. Perfect. All right, so basically we figured out that the new Bombardier needs a little bit of work, but it got it got hoeing out, needs a little bit of work. I know the first thing we need to do to it, hmm? fix the brakes. That is true, but we don't need brakes. So we're going steer. down the mountain. <laughs> you know what we need to do now? We need to let dinner go sledding, and then we got to get back down to the shop because we got to go look at the Bronx Star. Cronky, there's dinner in his natural habitat. Gently. Yay! Good job, dinner. Oh, that's cold. Oh, that's cold. Okay, that's cold. Okay, it's really cold. That wasn't supposed to happen like that. That's cold. All right, let's go. Victory wop wop, a little wop 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 a roo, wop wop. Look at that. One cutter break, got her loaded. And just in time, starting to snow. All right, we are locked, loaded, and ready to go. So let's get down the mountain. Okay, so we got us off the mountain. Snow cat's out there on the trailer. It's on the tow truck. Anyway, so check this out. We've got it all frame stiffened from the front to back. Look at how awesome this looks. There's a few little spots we need to fill in. Well, we need a weld right here, fill that in, but the rest of it is all done. Lots and lots of work has gone into this, but the reason we aren't doing a, a work video today is... Same boat as your Jeep. Same boat as the Jeep, we're waiting on some parts. So, unfortunately, that's the way of the world right now. It is what it is. It's, they're not out of stock. I screwed up, didn't order them, they're on their way, coming, whatever. Whenever they show up, they show up, it's no big deal. Once those get here, we're gonna be putting axles in, because we're to that point now. You don't play bloody knuckles. No, no, your your fist not. looks so tiny compared to his. As always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.